Good to go. Please tell me I don't have to waste ammo to break this down. Oh, or I can just push. I was planning on needing to, like, shoot it or something. said that Evelyn was starting to look older and get gray hairs. We don't even know the identity of the grandma in the wheelchair. And I'm pretty sure all we've seen of young Evelyn is hallucinations in Ethan's head and Mia. What if, what if all of the hallucinations are young Evelyn and the only real Evelyn is the old lady, is, is the grandma? I'm gonna have to kill an old woman. Oh, shit. I think I'm- OH FUCKING GOD! WHY?! Wait. It's not here. It's gone. It's gone! Oh my god, that is where I am right now. It is I'm back in the house! I'm back in the very beginning of the game! Oh my god! Oh, when games do this. Oh, when games do this. Oh, man. Okay, so I'm back in here. The only one still alive at the house is Zoe and the grandma. And Lucas. Which I thought I would meet down in the mines, but... He probably just used it as a shortcut to get back into the house, right? To get around me? Oh, man. The memories. The memories. Oh? Oh, I can! I can still use it! Oh god. Oh. Uh. <laughs> yep, no Zoe to call us this time. I mean, she should still be here, right? Because we left her on the boat. She's back at the boathouse. Oh god! Oh, it's me! Oh fuck! Evelyn, no! Back! Back! No! No! I'm not gonna piss you off anymore, so I'm not actually gonna shoot you. But, fuck off! You hear me? Fuck off! I wonder if the hand axe is still here. I didn't notice I could pick up the hand axe, excuse me, young lady. Uh, yeah. Hey. This is your fault. It's not. Yeah, this. It's Umbrella's fault. So fuck right off, okay? Uh, yeah, that was a thing. I noticed. I pl I watched Achievement Hunter play Resident Evil 7 up to the point where I would stopped. And uh, they went right up and picked up the axe. I didn't, so I've gone through this entire game without the hand axe. I had the knife, but yeah. So that's a thing. Sorry about that. But, I mean, you know, blind playthrough. I'm gonna miss stuff, okay? Man. This is crazy. Deja vu alert. Hi! I was expecting Mia to, you know, chop my hand off, but, you know, I would have preferred that, honestly, to you. Hold on. Okay, she's not moving. Anything in here? Who uncovered the piano? <laughs> I'm scared she's gonna... The fuse is missing again! Uh... Oh, I know that the secret compartment's blocked off, too. Wow. Okay. Okay. <gasps> Fuck off! Fruit Loops! Hi. Hey, hi. How, how are you, sweetie? Hi. Please don't. <laughs> Just... Oh, God! Ethan, it's okay. It's oh, okay. oh God! Hi, I was looking the wrong way. I know you didn't mean to hurt me. Kill him, mommy. Oh! You shouldn't have done that. Oh God! Oh God! It fucking hurts. He doesn't want to be my daddy. Stop it! Then he oh, hello. Can die. 
Cool. Yeah, I missed that. Sorry. Missed it. Now it's mommy's turn to kill you. I mean, yeah, she tried, but yeah. <laughs> yep, that was the moment we officially divorced. I remember that. Where do I go? Can I just leave? I have to find the grandma. And I have to kill her. She's Evelyn, right? We never did know her first name. I was thinking about that note that I found while Jack was looking for me that said, it said Mrs. Baker. Or Miss Baker, or something. But there was no... Hmm? There was no first name. That's because it's her, isn't it? Yeah, and the thing about this in VR, the cutscenes are, are weird, guys. They're very limited in terms of my head movement. They expect you to hold still. But they're still in 3D, and it's a horror game, so I'm gonna move, you know? <laughs> like, it's just, it's kind of dumb, but yeah. It was cutting out a lot the first time I went through that cutscene, too, so. <laughs> Great. Okay, we're good. <laughs> just double check everything. Yep, okay. I feel like all this is one just big giant vision. The color's all weird. Ethan, help me. She's not still here. She can't be. Mia? No. This this isn't real. It can't be real. Can't be Ruvik. Okay, well obviously I went the wrong way, so let me go back downstairs. Oh god. Oh Jesus Christ! Oh, no. Okay, no, bad, 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 bad. I went the wrong way. Oh, god damn it. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, god damn it. Oh, no. Is she gone? You asshole. You, you piece of crap game. <laughs> you jerk. All right, going back down. I mean, I will give you as much pity as I want. Nope. <laughs> All right, well. Oh, God. I remember how terrified I was first time I came through here in VR. Like, huh? what? Huh? I've grown since then. I've outgrown you. Now I know better! I can't interact with anything. <laughs> Fish, you! Can't open that either. Alright then. <laughs> Peekaboo! I see you! Even though I'd rather not, so if you could go, that'd be great. Why are you- OH GOD! Yeah, okay. Those things look perfectly capable of playing Not nicely. Playing. No! Get that away from me! And no! You me to die. I mean, I. Oh, hello. Okay, that's creepy. That that's creepy. Why is that a thing? Why is this a? What is? What is this? And why is it here? I mean, it's Evelyn. Which is weird. That's really weird. That was not here when I first came through here. Why is that here? That's weird. Why is Evelyn leading me to the front door? You shouldn't have shown that to her, by the way. She would have been super confident. She would have gotten it in your face and you could have stabbed her. But now she's going to keep her distance. So, smooth movie, then. This music seems to suggest I'm leaving. But I'm not leaving because I can't open the door. What? Why? Why? What do you. I can't. What? What? Okay, well, I'm assuming I gotta go back then. Oh, god damn it! Woo! Woo! Hey now! Back the fuck up, lady! Oh my god, you scared me. <laughs> Oh, 
you look taller, and you're also floating. Why? Oh, no, she's just floating. Okay, no, I don't want to stay away. Owie! Jesus! Okay, then. I'll stay away. Fine. God. How do I do this? <laughs> I can't move. Oh, God! What am I doing? Okay, well, I'll just shoot her then. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Ugh. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh, there we go. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Push through! Push through! She's gonna do it again. There you go. Okay, come on. You're done, Evelyn! No! You're done! You're grounded! <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Why does everyone hate me? Oh, that's actually sad. Oh god, that's gross. Okay. Oh fucking god! Oh Jesus Christ! Okay, no, back, 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 back! Oh boy, oh, oh, oh boy, oh boy, oh god, oh, okay, all right, whoa, hey, whoa. Oh, oh, no, oh, what the, holy hell, what is that? Oh my god, no! Back! Back! Oh god, back! No! Okay, that's not good. No! No! You ugly thing! No, Macrima, no! Oh, God! No! Stop it! Okay, whoa! Oh, all right. Well, then. Was that... Was that? That was no. That wasn't Marguerite, was it? Oh! What the? Okay. Can I move now? No, can't move. All right, sweet. All right. Ah! I can't move. It's not letting me get up! Okay. Oh, alright. Come on! Come on! Come on! You won't take me! Uh-oh. Maybe she'll take me. Okay. Oh, shit! Oh, no! Oh, God. Okay. Alright, okay. Whoa, alright then. Stop it! No, stop! Let me shoot him! Okay! Okay! Ow! That's a broken pelvis, to be sure. Uh, oh god! Woo! Huh? Use it! Oh! Who was that? Where's your face?! I need to see your face! Oh, there we go. Come on, bitch. Oh my god! Ugh. No, 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 no! Don't you dare! No, 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 no! Right? I don't know who the fuck that was, but whatever it was, it's dead, so who cares, right? Was that the end of the game? I got a trophy! For what, I don't know! I got another trophy! 
So I think I beat it. Oh my god. Thank god, okay, everything's still going. Just checking. Hello. Who are you? I don't like you. This is your fault. Get away. Save me first, but then get away. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. Hey. If I'm supposed to be able to recognize you, I'm sorry. Okay, I think you're... Yeah! There you are! Hey! So am I, frankly. The fuck took you guys so long? But I... I came all the way there to save my wife, and where, where is she? Did Evelyn kill her? Mia? Huh? <gasps> oh, Mia! Oh, Mia. thank God! They you saved you. I'm glad. Did I? Yay! A horror game with a happy ending, maybe. Keep watching. They say that when one door closes, another opens. Well, a door closed tonight. And another one's gonna open. it was. But not just for me. Me and I weren't the only victims here. Nope. So were the Bakers. Mm -hmm. It was that thing, Evelyn, who made them that way. I'm not, I knew it. Dead. And these guys are here to clean up the mess. Wow, that music I had just awesome. come to terms with losing Mia. And now she's back and wants to start over. Put all this behind us. Maybe this is where the next door opens. Na, 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 na. <laughs> oh my god! Wow, I beat it! Oh my god, finally! Holy crap! Did I? Did I beat it? Did I beat it? Uh oh. Why do I have to keep saying things about horror games ending good? Uh oh. What's all this? Oh, okay. It's the credits. I get it. <laughs> oh my god, I finally beat it! Wow. Man! That- Masato Miyazaki, of course. But, uh, that was my first Resident Evil game that I've played all the way through to the end. And holy shit, it was fantastic! That was my first full-length VR horror game. My first full-length VR game at all. And, oh, that was so good! Oh, that was so good! Why didn't I beat this earlier? I was so close. I hate it when I do that. Go tell and everybody is dead. <laughs> Great. I don't think I've ever been more scared in my entire life than I have playing this game. And oh, it was so good! I had so much fun in like the worst way possible. Oh man, that was fantastic. So I wonder where it's gonna take off from this. Like, I would love to see another game like this. If Resident Evil 7 8 is like this and also VR compatible, I will play the shit out of it. You can bet your ass. Until then, there are DLCs to get through that I think are supposed to, hey there, that I think are supposed to revolve around um, how the bakers got involved with all this. And I, I think, I think, oh man, that was, that was fantastic. Uh, so if you guys want to see me do the, uh, the, the DLCs, if they're VR compatible, um, I will, can't imagine why they wouldn't be, but let me know if you guys want me to do at least some of the DLCs. I know there are a lot of DLCs. There's like a horde mode DLC. I probably won't be getting that. Oh God, everything about this was just so good. Um, I imagine uh, the graphics are a little better when they're not in VR, but the graphics were still fantastic for a VR game. Everything looked so real still. The one thing about VR is that, especially for horror games, which isn't good, what they do is they, especially for like cutscenes and stuff, they expect you to keep the headset still, you know, so you don't move out of 
gameplay area or something, especially in the cutscenes, like I said. But you're a horror game, you know? Jump scares are gonna make people fly back and scrunch up in their seats. So when I'm in the middle of this really scary cutscene and the screen goes black, the immersion is totally ruined. Um, which sucks. It blew my expectations, it really did. Because after I played the beginning hour demo, not in VR, I was like, eh, that was creepy. But, you know, meh. And uh, so I was just kind of like, well, maybe I'll get it, I don't know. But then when it said it was coming out in VR and I watched the actual story trailer, I was like, okay, well now I have to get this. And the beginning hour demo does this game no justice. No justice at all. This was absolutely horrifying. <laughs> and I loved it. The next game that's supposed to be coming out is, for me to play for you guys is Detroit Become Human. And I'm pretty sure that's out by now. But, um... Like, I'm so busy throughout the month of May. I'm actually going to be away. That comes out on May 25th, or it came out on May 25th, whatever. And I have been out of town as of the 18th, and I'm not coming back till the 29th. So my playthrough of Detroit Become Human is going to be a little late, but hopefully the rest of Origins and the rest of, which I'm pretty sure you've seen the end of by now, and the rest of Evil Within 2 and this will keep us tidied over until I can actually sit down and play Detroit. So... Yeah, that should be enough, and so that is going to be a little late. I'm sorry about that, but yeah, so... Oh, this was so good. I... The bar is really high for VR horror from now on. It really is. Um, so, Until Dawn Rush of Blood is after this, and then maybe I'll do The Inpatient? Um, which is, like, again, the, the prequel to Until Dawn, which I think could be fun. I've heard mixed reviews about that game, how it's more about the story and it's not all that scary. But um, it would still be interesting to see where Until Dawn truly began. Um, yeah, so maybe I'll do that. Let me know if you want to see that. And if there's any other VR experiences, especially horror experiences, that uh, you would like me to try, I will be sure to check it out. Okay, so sorry guys. It was getting really hot in that headset, so I had to take it off. But you guys can still watch the credits roll. Um, oh, man. I still don't know what that thing was at the end. Was that Marguerite in her, like, final form? Or was that Evelyn in her final form? Because I'm pretty sure that serum was supposed to kill her, not make her stronger. So, I don't, I honestly, I have no idea what that thing was. <laughs> I really don't. And honestly, maybe it's just because um, I'd gone through the entire game up until that point. But the ending wasn't all that scary, honestly. There, there were a couple points that, that, that got me and made me jump, like, to be fair. But obviously the game was in its like wrapping up phase, so most of the big scares had already passed. Um, so it didn't get me all that much, but God, like that game was still terrifying. And I'm really proud of myself for just think for coming up with the whole Evelyn old woman thing. Cause she was just kind of everywhere like, hey grandma. But that, that was Evelyn the whole time. That was the real Evelyn. Every time we saw Evelyn as a little girl, that was just hallucination. She wasn't even a girl anymore. I wonder what made her age so quickly. And again, like the other boss fights throughout the game were really intense and really scary. That final boss fight seemed pretty scripted. Like, you know, she, she was kind of supposed to catch me when she was crawling towards me in the room. <laughs> crawling, if you could even call it that. And then I was, then after that, I was laying on the ground outside and she was looming over me and I couldn't move. So, a lot of- it seemed pretty scripted. If you, like, gave me the option to, like, run away and stuff, I think it would have been a lot scarier. But obviously the game was in its, like, wrap-up phase, and when that happens, games tend to get a little more scripted towards the end, because they're resolving everything. And, yeah, so I understand. But the ending of the game definitely wasn't as scary as the rest of it, obviously. Because <laughs> by that point, I kind of knew what I was- what I was getting into, right? Because I'd played the game before. So... That's it though, guys. That was Resident Evil 7 Biohazard in VR. Holy crap. That was such a blast. It was so fun. This is one of those experiences where like, it is not fun while you're in it, but when you look back on it, you're like, okay, that was pretty awesome. You know? It all paid off. So I hope you, I sincerely hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. This is one of my favorite series I've ever done on the channel. Um, and if you're just now joining us, since this is like, you know, nine, ten months after the fact, uh, 
go ahead and start from part one. It's it's a good one. The bar is set pretty damn high now. So, uh, like and favorite if you guys enjoyed. Go tell your rat Rody to subscribe if she wants to see more. And I'm gonna hang out here to see if uh, if there's a secret. I think there's a secret thing. No, that's just them. Okay. Wait. Uh oh. Do I need to put this back on? No. No, the phone just vibrated. Why would the phone just vibrate? What does that mean? Weird. That's weird. Oh, speculate down in the comments, guys. But yeah, I played the game on easy. I'm a, I'm a little, I'm a pussy, okay? <laughs> it was my first VR horror game, okay? I was taking it easy. Took me about 12 hours to get through the whole thing. Um, three restarts. I'm assuming that means deaths. Yeah, I only died three times. I died twice to Jack in, uh, in, uh, in the, uh, yeah, I died twice to Jack in that one boss fight when he had the, when I had the chainsaw and he had the giant garden shears and everything. Um, I died twice to that because I didn't know what to do because I was stupid. And uh, then I I didn't die, but when I was on a videotape uh, watching Mia try and hide from Marguerite, she caught me once. Which I'm assuming is a restart. It, it didn't say you died, it said you failed. So, same thing. Those are the only times- I only died three times in this game! I was playing on easy, sure, but I'm, I'm pretty proud of that. <laughs> Mr. Everywhere is destroyed. I only missed three! Oh crap, I only missed three coins too! Oh, and I missed two files! I was so close to like 100%ing this game on the first run! Damn! Which ones did I miss, I wonder? Item box opened, 76. Healing items used, 27. No stabilizers used, and only three steroids used. Wow. I did pretty good! Because again, I did play on easy. I wanted mostly for the jump scares in the story, not the difficulty of the game. I just kind of wanted to get through it and really get a feel of what VR horror was like. And there is no possible way you could prepare yourself for what VR horror is like when it's done right. No way. You just gotta hop in and do it. There's no way you can brace yourself for how real and how immersive everything is. It is horrifying there is no way you can ever prepare yourself for that except to just do it so where the heck was lucas maybe that's what the phone is for i honestly don't know but yeah he just kind of up and vanished i was expecting a final showdown with him or something because when i was talking to him on the phone he said something like not on the phone on, on the tv he was uh he said something ethan asked him like what are you gonna throw at me next and Lucas is like, I don't do spoilers, so I assumed he was coming back. And he didn't. He didn't come back. So, methinks, either in the DLCs, maybe, or in the next game, we're gonna see him again. Maybe. And Zoe. I don't know what happened to Zoe. There's kind of a lot of loose ends with this game, which makes me think there's another one coming, which makes me excited. That one better be VR compatible. If it's not VR compatible, I'm gonna be upset. All right. I've heard of Madhouse Difficulty. I have heard of Madhouse Difficulty. The weapon. I'm assuming that's th th that's the weapon Chris threw to me from the helicopter at the very end of the game, right? I can use that throughout the rest of the game now. I'm assuming. Will be added to the item box in the main game. Free? Really? Well, I'm a year late to that party. So, that's... That's free! I might just have to do that then. Hmm, maybe we're not quite done with Resident Evil 7 Biohazard yet. So, if that's free, I'm totally hopping into that. Um, hold on. Moving. There it is. There it is. So, that is the end. Let me prop this up with something just so it's, it's framed properly. That won't work. Uh, toilet paper roll, because I don't have tissues. Okay. So that is the full playthrough of the main campaign of Resident Evil 7 Biohazard in VR the whole way. I remember saying in part one, like, in part one, I was terrified. And I remember saying, I remember saying, like, if this becomes too much, I'm just gonna play the rest of this game not in VR. Like, I, I was prepared to totally chicken out and play this game without the headset. But I, I did it. I pushed through. I muscled through. And I'm so happy I did. 
There is... I can't even equate this to any other horror experience I've ever been through. This is a one-of-a-kind thing right now for me. And this might be one of my favorite games of all time. Just because it, it was in VR, and it was done in VR so well. I can't believe it's over. I stopped literally like an hour and a half from the end. Which is annoying. I do that a lot, and I hate it when I do that. But this is- it's over now. So if you guys want to see the Not A Hero DLC, if it's in VR, potentially, uh, and also there are other DLCs, like Lost Footage, I think is what they're called, DLCs? And uh, they look scary. <laughs> so maybe we'll have to do that as well. Let me know what you guys want to see, if you want to see future content of this game. And uh, I guess I'll see you guys in my next VR horror experience, which will be... Uh, until Dawn Rush of Blood. I got that for free through PlayStation Plus, and I've been dying to play it, so... Also, uh, among the free games for, uh, for May on, on PlayStation Plus was Beyond Two Souls, which I have downloaded, and I now have. So if you guys want to see a playthrough of Beyond Two Souls, I own that game now, and it's kind of old, and we're gonna get through Detroit Become Human first, but let me know if you guys want to see a future playthrough of that as well. So, we've got a lot coming up on this channel, uh, and I'm super excited to have more experiences like this with you guys because this was so fun and I hope you guys had as much fun as I did playing this game. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Like and favorite if you did. Subscribe if you want to see more. This is like the third time I've said this but I'll see you in my next video. <laughs> Farewell friends.